more! It's the end of the week. No, it's not. A Wong Fu week. It's Tuesday. It's Wong Fu whenever! What's up, guys? Welcome to a very special episode of Wong Fu Whenever's. I'm here at McDonald's. The reason I'm here is because it's a very special time of year. It is McRib season. That's right, the infamous McRib sandwich is back at McDonald's for a limited time. The McRib has like an enthusiastic internet following of fans. I'm one of them that looks forward to this every year and I can't wait to finally be reunited with the McRib. There's a few other fans of the McRib on the Wong Fu team. So I'm actually gonna pick some up. We're gonna have a picnic because I haven't seen them in a while. So let's go. I got the goods. All right, the most important sandwich of the year. The McRib, tangy, saucy, pickles, onions, all on a toasted bun. This is why people wait all year for this sandwich. All right, time to take these to the picnic. They're all waiting for me, but I got another one that I'm gonna eat right here. Don't tell them, but I just can't wait. All right, thanks for joining me on this picnic, guys. Yes, of course. Thanks for inviting us. It's like it's like a lunch break. Yeah, it's a great day to be outside too here in SoCal. Sure, I feel bad. Like all the people that are watching outside of SoCal are like, are you they are they in shorts and a t-shirt? All right, but everyone's got their McRib. Yes. yes. So excited. Like, when was the last time you had a McRib? It's been over a year. Over a year. <laughs> I think one year ago. One last year, last exactly. season. One season ago. <laughs> what about you, Michelle? I, I think I haven't had this since college. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, it's been a long oh. time. Let's all dig in at the same time. Okay. Okay. We're all okay. six feet apart in this picnic outside, so we're gonna take off our masks. Gosh, I'm so ready for this. <gasps> all right. It's very saucy, so be careful of, of uh, dripping, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. And cheers. Woo! Um. Mm. That's how I remember. Oh my gosh. I feel like, like this is better than what I remembered. We're yeah. gonna have so much like sauce lips in this episode. Ooh, sauce lips. So, mm, it's, a, it's a thing. It's really funny because my brother messaged me and he showed me that he got a McRib today also. Huh? Yeah. Like 10 of his friends messaged him. I was like, oh my God, it's out today. And they all like showed him pictures. That's, so that's the hype around the sandwich. Yeah. There's a serious fan base for this sandwich. It was a countdown or something. They really? were just talking, anticipating it. I feel like there's so much food like the McRib that we've just been missing out on this year. You know, yeah. Just because of the situation in the world and everything. All right, this is at least one thing that we got to have, mm -hmm. but there's so many other things, yeah, because of what's going on, we're like craving. What's something that you, like, you're, you've you been missing? Actually, in the beginning of quarantine and stuff, the Shamrock Shake was was ending. Oh. So I remember being like, oh my gosh, can I go out now to get the like the last day of the shamrock shake? <laughs> Everyone was getting toilet paper, you were getting shamrock. Yeah, no, actually that Great. was what yeah. happened. Great. <laughs> no, that's priorities. Because you never know when that's gonna come back. Um, for me, like a lot of it's travel related because obviously we live here, but because of Wong Fu, we get to travel to a lot of places like when we get invited to schools and stuff. I always look forward to like eating that region's like whatever oh, yeah, for sure. food like for so for example like whenever we went to like schools in the south or like in Texas we get invited to a lot like obviously like barbecue I miss like good southern oh, barbecue yeah, yeah. I barely had any barbecue this year like we always look for barbecue whenever we're traveling in the same vein for travel like when we go to Texas like getting the breakfast tacos or like Tex-Mex oh Tex-Mex oh oh I really like I've never had that before they also like are known for like breakfast tacos so it's like sausage egg and bacon Ooh. and like taco form that sounds so good. But that's yeah, that's one I'm missing too. Oh, you know what I miss? Like, cause all the theme parks are closed. <gasps> like theme park food. Oh, you know what? Yes, I I relate to that. Yeah. Like, honestly, corn dogs I kind of miss. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you'd say that. Yeah. I, I know, miss right? Corn dogs. Yeah. I like. I can't wait to have a turkey leg again. I guess mm. I technically just had Thanksgiving. Yeah. But it's not the same. Not the same. I saw people making turkey legs at home. Like oh. nostalgia for a theme park food mm. during Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. nice. I like churros. Yeah, things as simple as churros. You can't yeah. make that at home. You're right, that's true. I mean, you can, but I mean, it's not the same. Yeah. I'm going back to traveling. Mm -hmm. I feel like once we're out of this, whenever that is, like there's so many foods like from other countries too. Like Taiwan night markets, night market food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. All the street market stuff, I, a big part of 2020 for me at home, at my computer is watching, like making street food and like, all the process of that, so mm -hmm. got to bring that back. What's some of your favorite street food? I mean, there, a lot of it was like these like meat buns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I, I don't think I've even had it when I went to Taiwan. 
but like even like the the fried pork chop on like a stick. Oh, like yeah. It's just the convenience of being outside and be able to choose what you want to eat. I feel like now you have to like plan on what you want to eat. Yeah. Remember back when there were like trends too? Yeah. Like there are no trends now because no one can go out yeah, yeah. safely all the time to eat it. Yeah, the trends are like things you can make at home, like uh, yeah. banana coffee. Bread. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When the dog went to coffee and sourdough and banana bread. But for sure, even for travel related, I went to Osaka last year oh. and I like, got takoyaki. Getting takoyaki in, Osa in Osaka is like a very special thing. Because it originated there, I feel like it has like this like... Authenticity. Yeah, this, this like experience. And I think that's part of like the, the charm of it, you know? Mm -hmm. of any, all the things we're saying too, it's like knowing that like the anticipation of this like specific time for this food or yeah. the specific location of this food also makes it more special. You're right, you know? right. I guess it's the holidays, so like there's a lot of holiday food that mm. people are anticipating. I was excited for it to get cold enough to drink soup. Like have soup, like clam chowder. Oh, okay. Like, I'm not a huge soup fan. I'll eat soup at like a soup and salad bar, but like I don't, I don't crave. Oh, sorry, I crave chili. Oh. But not like. I don't soups. crave chili. Really? Yeah, I had gumbo. Oh, gumbo. <laughs> but not like chicken noodle. I crave like like clam chowder or something, or like hot chocolate too. Yeah. I can't like enjoy hot chocolate if it's like the summer because I'll be sweating already. Right. Yeah. Have you guys ever had eggnog? No. I've never, it. I've never had eggnog before. That's not one I, um, I crave. Mm. I, I think it's because I have allergies as well. Oh. I have no idea what it like, it tastes like. Is it like eggy? <laughs> is it, is it eggy? <laughs> <laughs> it's like nutmeg and. Uh... I, I have no idea. Uh, I'll just say this: throughout the year, I crave Thanksgiving food. Like, if there's ever a Thanksgiving sandwich, like at a sandwich shop, I'll always get it. Oh. But since we just came out of Thanksgiving, I literally ate like a week's worth of like Thanksgiving. Oh, we, we have a tradition in our house. After Thanksgiving, we make turkey juk mm. out of the carcass, um, and like that's something I always always looking forward to uh, around this time of the year. And it's not—it's like something we could make any other time, but it's like we choose to just keep mm. it around this time, and it's colder. Wait, but you're from the Midwest, yeah. Chicago area. Yeah. Is there a regional thing there it's not that like you crave? Regional per se, but it's like places that my family went to a lot. Uh, so like now I can't travel as much. So like whenever I do go home, I'm always like, can we go to these places, these places, and get these things? Is it like Asian food or? It's like it's like American food or Italian food. Oh. There's this place that like they make really good fried mushrooms for some reason. That sounds it's good. Mushrooms. It's really good and I can't find anywhere else that replicates it. That sounds pretty good. I don't like mushrooms either. Kind of good in Chicago. Yeah, but regional places like sometimes I'll visit my friends in New York. There's like the New York pizza. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. Stuff. You don't, you're not repping Chicago pizza? Oh, so. Chicago pizza is not pizza. It's a pie. This is this is out there. This is clear. It's not pizza. <laughs> I mean, it's, okay, regardless of the name, is it still better? Like the deep dish? No, Chicago it's style? it's different. It's like it's different. It's like, it's like a casserole. It's like, anyways, that's like a <laughs> really different video. Or like my brother always loves like Chicago hot dogs. Oh yeah, okay, even that, what about like LA dogs versus Wait, Chicago? What is in LA dogs? Like what? A bacon wrapped dog! Oh, is, is that LA like dog? a thing? That oh, is 100% LA, I mean that's any, like all these places are yeah. on the street. Yeah. LA dogs are definitely... Wow, really? Yeah. It's clearly a lot of food that we're super excited for that we can't eat right now. Yeah. But thankfully, McDonald's didn't let us down. <laughs> while, while the rest of 2020 let us down, McDonald's didn't let us down and they brought back the McRib to at least give us a little bit of that you know, feeling of normalcy. There's always something to look forward to because they, they'll bring it back like no matter what's happening. Well, thanks, Phil. Thanks for um, letting us be a part of this uh, celebration. So if you don't know, now you know, McRib season is finally back. The one we've been waiting for all year is here. So if you haven't tried it, go try one today. It's here for a limited time. So let us know in the comments if you're a McRib fan and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. Peace.